Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain especially about the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Racing Club de Lens versus Arsenal. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Starting lineup for Racing Club de Lens. Well, it's a back five, but the front three will certainly offer a goal threat. However, to do that, they'll need their two central midfield players to control the middle of the park. It's basically a 5 2 3. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. And now they get the ball rolling. Bukayo Saka. Partey. On to Jesus. Declan Rice. Thomas Partey. He's managed to lose his marker. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, not quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Not much time to make up his mind. Duf. Making progress. Good pass. Oh, super header. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. And that will be a corner. Well, they fancy a short one. Danso. Shown inside. Frankowski. Sotoka. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And the cross goes in. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. On attacking possibilities. Played into the box. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Gabriel. Thomas Partey and now their turn to have the ball and he could really get at the opposition
Good looking move. Clearance needed to be better. Martin Erdegaard. Now with Jesus. And showing fine vision. And there it is. 1 0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Rice. Well read to put an end to that attack. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. The cross is on. Passing it accurately. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Well, it's up and up. Just couldn't get it through. A super tackle and they've won possession. Machado Thomason That is that for the first half here Well it was an eye-catching first half performance by Gabriel Jesus Sum it up for us well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Erdogan Marcinelli genuine chance the save was a good one short corner favourite Rice. Rice with it. And putting his body on the line. Can they slot it home? Ben White. Pulls it back. Just can't get it past them. Keeper did his job to begin with. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, I don't think they've been at it today. But maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. One goal down, but now a corner kick. They favoured a short one here. Duf has the strength to hang on to it. Oh, but they've lost it now. Well, we're into the final half hour. 
Arsenal have given it away. Ball with Juve. Are still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. That's a good pass. Well, now in a dangerous position. Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. Thomas Partey. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Declan Rice. It's one thing to sit deep, it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep. Real chance! Oh, a goal for Arsenal! It's theirs to lose now. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, this is almost perfect. Lots of curl and enough pace on it. The keeper had no chance. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Bukayo Saka. That's a good looking ball. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity. And momentum is with them. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So there we have it, 2-1. Partey. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Martin Odegaard. Thomas Partey. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Might be a chance to break. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Well, nearing the end of the 90 minutes, and Arsenal in charge. Can they get over the line? Stuart, interested in your thoughts on their overall performance? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Well, he can't say he hasn't been warned now. That's good from the referee. Full time and just the start Arsenal fans were hoping for. They have three points on the board already in the UEFA Champions League. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?